While most Americans are back at work today, the woman at the center of the IRS scandal is not. But she is still getting paid, and now some senators are pushing to change that. NBC senior investigative correspondent Lisa Myers has the latest developments. Lisa, good morning. Hey, Matt, good morning to you. Lois Lerner headed the IRS division that singled out conservative groups for extra scrutiny and pleaded the fifth rather than testify before Congress. She's now on administrative leave with pay. That means she keeps collecting her almost $180,000 a year salary while five different investigations are underway. To many, Lois Lerner is now the public face of this scandal, even though she insists she did nothing wrong. I will not answer any questions or testify today. Yet because she's a career government employee, firing her would involve a lengthy, laborious process. So Lerner could keep getting paid by taxpayers for many months, which some senators say is offensive. The IRS needs to build the strongest case they can, speed up the administrative process so she doesn't linger on the taxpayer dole. So far, the IRS's account of how this happened and why conflicts with some key facts. The IRS says targeting began in March 2010 as a bureaucratic shortcut to handle surging tax-exempt applications. But the agency's own statistics show the surge happened the next year, 2011. The IRS blames virtually everything on a few low-level employees in Cincinnati. But a lawyer representing targeted groups says that's not true. The letters that um, my clients received came from the Cincinnati office, an office in California, and the Washington office. Congress also is investigating whether individuals involved with targeted groups may have also received additional IRS attention. Catherine Engelbrecht says after she filed for tax-exempt status for a conservative group, the IRS audited her personal and business taxes for the first time, and her business was visited by two other federal agencies. I think it's important that the truth get out. It's, it's far beyond politics. Her tax-exempt application still hasn't been approved after three years. She's now suing the IRS. Now, some experts argue that the IRS was right to target political activity by some of these conservative groups, but should have used a neutral criteria that would have appeared less partisan, Savannah. Lisa Myers in Washington, thank you.